Yo, what is up my Card Kingdom family? Kenji back for some more drafting here on Magic Online. We got some more of this Modern Horizons flashback draft. Thanks for watching, hit that like and subscribe, and as always, don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmot for all of your Magic card needs. Let's get into the draft. We opened Terrible Mythic. Uh, yeah, not for limited play, certainly. What are the cards we want to be looking at here? We've got a Scale Up, pretty good aggressive card works kind of nicely with all of the green um, swarmish creatures you can get in the format smiting helix fantastic removal spell especially if you can get the flashback lots of good value there mana war one of my favorite early blue creatures in the format mob just really good convoke removal spell mm, i think here i'm gonna go with the mana war i just think that the um, ninja deck is way too good in this format and so even if you get like a mid-tier ninja deck, you're generally going to be a lot better than the majority of other decks in the format. So, yeah, I mean, Mana War is just good in any deck anyways. Like the Flicker deck is also pretty good and Mana War shines in that. So I think Mana War was an easy first pick there for me. Let's see, got ourselves a Valiant Changeling. Remember, um, not Spiders, what are they? Slivers. Actually, Spiders too are kind of a thing, but Slivers are a force to be reckoned with in the format and like black white slivers um white red slivers that is all a thing that you can do and so with these shapeshifter changeling cards the cards like king of the pride actually get a little bit better than they uh, initially look we have a winter's rest here good solid snow removal remember you do not get snow lands automatically added to your deck you have to actually draft them so if you're going to go snow, it's kind of awkward. You have to prioritize the snow lands while also prioritizing the good snow cards. Trumpeting Herd, fantastic good green card here. Four mana for two three threes. Um, going in line with what I was saying, though, I think I'm just going to take the Azra Smoke Shaper. It's only ninja in this pack, and it's going to lead us to some pretty good things, I think. Pick three. What does this look like? We have this cycle of the Sacrifice, draw card lands in the enemy colors, always nice. Oniraphage, really nice one as well for, well, just any blue deck can really utilize this, but uh, the, the draw two red blue deck is super fun, if you can get that going on. If I wanted to force ninjas here, Phantom Ninja is like okay, it's actually not that impressive. It does allow for ninjutsu, but... You want the 1 and 2 drop evasive creatures to allow for ninjutsu. You don't usually want to be ninjutsuing a 3 mana card. Unearth is solid. I guess I'll take the Anira phase here though as uh, a safe play. Because if we can start getting some of those like blue-red, um, I think there are some like Jin cards and whatnot, then maybe it'll be worth it to do that. Lava Belly Sliver here for the red-white sliver deck. Let's see, what does this one do again? Creatures you control have when this deals or when this enters the battlefield deals one damage to target player or planeswalker and you gain one life. So pretty solid one there. I actually remember answered prayers being really annoying to play against. It turns into a 3-3 three, three angel uh, if you have a creature ETB and it also gains you a life. So it's kind of hard to race. Putrid Goblin though looks like the very easy pickup. This is just one of the best two drops. I think in the format, it's a 2-2 persist for two. Um, it has the goblin type as well, and red black goblins is an amazing deck in the format if you can get that going. But it's also just a really good enabler for ninjutsu and stuff, so I'm happy to take that here. Uh, ooh, this pack is not particularly good for what we're doing. We could take ransack the lab. Let's see. I mean, the sliver plan is fine, but really, you need to get the, the the best of the slivers to make them worth it. Like, these ones are not particularly good. I think the Outlast one, I mean, the two-drop sliver is okay. Rock's Veteran was solid. 2 4 4, four Battle Cry, and then it taps a creature, so kind of awkward to try to block that. Um, Frostwalla was re really, really good in the snow deck, obviously. I mean, we could take, like, a Talisman here. I guess the highest upside is, like, taking the Frostwalla and maybe seeing if Snow is available. Oh, that's interesting. There's an Astrolabe here and a Blue Snowland. So, with Snow, you generally want to be blue-green. 
And so if you're seeing like snow islands and snow forests go kind of late, that's generally a decent sign for that. Now that being said, we do have like a throat seeker here, which is a pretty good one. Hard to race that one. Unblocked attacking ninjas you control have lifelink, so this can just gain you a bunch of life out of nowhere. I'm almost wondering if we want to take the astrolabe though and try to be the snow deck. Problem is, I don't have any of the snow lands yet, so taking astrolabe over the island is actually a little bit weird. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with the uh, the ninja plan and take the throat seeker. And yeah, kind of some rewards here as not really any good snow cards and some good ninja cards. We have Ninja of the New Moon. This one is a hard hitter for sure. Undead Augur is just like an okay two drop that you can get some value with. We do have that Putrid Goblin that's a zombie as well for some synergies. Uh, I think generally just supposed to take the cheaper creature though. So let's take the Undead. Okay, the uh, Waterlog Grove here is actually a pretty nice late pickup. Um, it fixes well. Not, it fixes if we're gonna maybe stay open to the blue green snow deck. It also is a blue source that we can sack later on for a card, so that's good. Charm is a decent trick, uh, or I could take the snow land actually. We'll take the snow land. To see, okay, yeah, snow covered forest this late is a good sign as well. So, still definitely open to a snow plan of sorts, though it does look like we're leaning into black. Crocs and Tusker, also really nice. This was just a great value card. Been re reprinted multiple times, but does grab the Snowlands in a pinch. Okay, not a bad start. I don't recall Anurid being that good. There was a red-green um, land in the graveyard deck, though. I mean, when you have Threshold, this card is 5-5 five, five Vigilance for 5, so obviously not terrible. Okay, pack number two, we have Garbage. Yikes. Firebolt, probably the best card here. We could take Regrowth. We could take Unearth, I guess. We have actually some decent Unearth hits. If this was a snow-covered island or mount, sorry, island or forest, I would probably take it. But I guess I'm supposed to just take the Unearth here. Yeah, pretty weak pack overall. I mean, with the snow deck, you do end up playing multiple colors frequently, and if you do pick up the astrolabes, then splashing like something like Firebolt's not crazy. But I think the... Well, no, let's take the Firebolt. You know why? We haven't seen any of the uh, important one-drop um, ninja enablers. We haven't seen any of like the 1-1 one -1 fairies. We haven't seen any of the unblockable 1-1s. One -one, so I'm going to take Bolt here. And see maybe if this is going to work out better instead. Yeah, and this looks like a maybe a better chance to pivot. Let's see. We have a Pyrophobia, just solid two-mana removal. Um, have a Snow-Covered Island. Have another Trumpeting Herd. I mean, I definitely could take one of these blue-black cards, and I do have more cards for the blue-black deck. But in these type of formats, it's so much better to find the open lane and move into it. But like I was saying earlier, that's the problem with the ninja deck. I think it's just so th strong that even if you're contested, a mid-tier ninja deck is generally still just better than the majority of other decks in the format. As sad as that is to say. Ah. Like I want to take the snow-covered island here, but I feel like it's probably going to be en ending up correct to take Eye Kite or the, uh, the Smoke Shaper. Feels bad, but... Ooh, I remember this card being nuts. Rot Widow Pack. Yeah, the spider. 4 mana, 2, 4 reach. 5 mana, exile card from your graveyard. You make a 1, 2 spider with reach. Then each opponent loses 1 life for each spider you control. That card was really, really sick. We've got a Moonblade Shinobi here, though, so we kind of have to just take that. Go with our ninja plan that we have uh, kind of committed to. Mother Bear. I remember that being one of the better 2 drops in green. Just a good 2-2 later on for value. Rhyme Tender was one of the ideal 2-drops you wanted for the Snow deck. You didn't see these go around very often. Minotaur was a really, really fun uh, blue-red card. There's a Fists of Flame instant. 
that a creature gets, or wait, you draw a card, and then a creature gets plus one plus zero for each card you've drawn this turn. So with Spinehorn Minotaur and that Fists of Flame, you could easily kill people out of nowhere. We could take an Archmage's Charm. The triple blue is a little bit awkward, but it's certainly a good value card. Probably going to end up doing that. Oh, there's a Factor Fiction here. Very nice. Another Trumpeting Herd going around. What does this one do again? Exile is six, top six cards. You may cast up to... Okay, I do not remember that card being any good. Uh, String of Disappearances here seems fine. A little bit of early interaction. Another Waterlog Grove, actually, if we wanted to. But I think let's take the Edict over the Sandbar. Changeling was also pretty good. People didn't want to block it, so it lets you ninjutsu in pr uh, pretty frequently. Could also just take the 2-2 two -two flyer for 3. That doesn't seem bad. Let's see. Prohibit or return from extinction. This card was okay, and it was especially good with all the changelings. I guess we can take one of those. Right now, I think this deck is just okay. If we can get some of those one drops out of pack three, we'll be pretty happy. Oh, yeah, I mean, the Smoke Shaper Wheeling is also a really good sign. Okay. So, these are the ninja cards we have. Ninjutsu cards we have. We have one, two, only three two drops and no one drops for enabling. So that's going to be what we're going to look for in pack three. Oh, wow, that is a very, very late Rot Widow pack. It's possible I end up splashing the Rot Widow, actually. Because we can pick up some of those Ransack the Labs that we've seen go around. That's the uh, black and one sorcery that like looks at the top three or four cards. I think it's three. You put one in your hand, you put the rest in your graveyard. This card is just nice. Mother Bear Wheeling too. Okay. There was... I think we were aware that green was available though since we saw so many trumpeting herds. I don't think the snow deck was particularly available. But I do think the... Uh, the graveyard or the land deck. The green, red um, land or the green, black graveyard deck were all things that we could have gone into. I'm going to keep harping on this, though. I think a mediocre ninja deck is still better than <laughs> most decks in the format. So, Pashalik Mons, man. Ay, ay, ay. That would have been a super fun one to do with the goblins. There's the Soul Herder for the one of the Flicker decks. I think we saw, like, one Settle Beyond Reality. Battle Screech, if you've never played with this card in Limited, just let me tell you, it is insane. Very unfortunate opening here for us. Wow. Nothing really for the ninja deck. Like, Phantasmal Form is okay. Edict is okay. But this is really sad. You know, I guess there's a world where we could actually move into the green-black deck still. It would be a weird pivot. But there's just nothing here that I want for the... Uh, for the ninjas. That sucks. Like if we go green, we get access to this stuff. Is that good enough? Then we can take Savage Swipe or the bear here. I guess that makes sense. Mm, yikes, another really bad pack for us. Yeah, it looks like these packs are just kind of dry in general. I guess we'll take the Undead Augur again. Yeah, this is what I get, though. Force of Negation. <laughs> Ooh, another Moonblade Shinobi. Okay. 
So I think if we can get a couple of one drops, this deck will still be really good. The question is, will I get any of those one drops? And it doesn't look like we're going to get there. Smoke Shroud, though, is kind of nice. As we pass another Azra Smoke Shaper. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one as flying. When a ninja enters the battlefield in your control, you may return it from your graveyard to the battlefield to attach that creature. So really, really nice uh, with ninjas and ninjutsu. Oh, this is the first Twin Silk Spider we've seen, but I remember this card being really good in green, right? Three mana for a 1-2 reach that makes an additional copy of itself. That was a nice one. Let's see, that was pick four. So we have four more chances to get, like, Changeling Outcast or, um, I think it's called Fairy Seer. Not sure how easy we're going to be able to cast that Archimage's Charm. Let's see, one, two, three, four, two drops now. Another Smoke Shaper. <laughs> we are getting the um, the Ninjas, we're just not getting the Enablers. So maybe I should just take Reign of Revelation here, although I have a lot of four drops already if we're not being able to Ninja them. Or maybe it's better to take Phantasmal Form. Because with like five mana, we can phantasmal form, then ninja out the smoke shaper, or with six, we can ninja out the shinobi. That's probably right. Hey, a slug! All right, future sight's amazing, but we are going to be heavier black here, and this is a two-drop menace creature, so we really need to find something like that to enable some more ninja. There's another, or there's finally the ransack lab. Oh, altar of dementia. I like it. I don't think we want it. I think for us here, we're supposed to take the Choking Tethers, as this is another way for us to push through and ninja. Oh my god, wait. Okay, that's crazy, because this is a, this is an 8th pick Miss Syndicate Naga. So, I don't know if somebody is in ninjas and they just took like all of the one drops or maybe not many of the one drops were open because if we're seeing this late and like we saw the smoke shaper on the wheel that's really weird that's really weird to me huh our deck would actually be insane if we had picked up just a couple of the one drops oh, unearth is good I so, funny thing is, Reign of Revelations actually better than Factor Fiction with specifically a Nyrophage. Because Factor Fiction doesn't draw cards, whereas Reign does, but of course, Factor Fiction looks at more cards for what that's worth. Okay, I mean, I think we are exactly what I was talking about a mid tier ninja deck. But we have. A lot of the good ninjas is the crazy thing. I'm still hesitant to try to run the triple blue charm here, even though it's really good. God, that eighth pick's miss syndicate was so crazy to me. Yeah, I think I'll just cut the reign of revelation. 17 lands here. Our deck really wants to have a creature on turn two. I think we're okay running the Waterlog Grove as a blue source that hurts us a bit. All right, let's give this a shot. Blue Black Ninjas here in the Modern Horizons queue. Missing the important one drops. Have some number of decent twos, but we might have to mulligan kind of aggressively to make sure we have something to do on turn two. Alright, here for round one of this Modern Horizons, we're going to be on the play. And yes, we have two of our two drops, though one of them is not currently castable. Going to need to find ourselves another black source ideally, but even if we don't, that's okay. All right, unfortunate, I will have to start taking damage, as that's my only land. And that should tell the opponent that I don't have any more lands in my hand, because otherwise I wouldn't have played out the Waterlog Grove here. 
Yeah, it's not great. They could have a Diabolic Edict. Not much I can do about that, but we're certainly going to Ninjutsu in the Smoke Shaper. Good, they do not. I think we're in great shape if we can just find one more land. Question is, how long will it be until we do? Oh, they're going to be on Goblins, it looks like. Please don't have a Pyrophobia, that would make me sad. Bogarden Dragonheart. Sack another creature until end of turn. This becomes a 4-4 with base power and toughness, 4-4 in haste. There are a couple of steel effects in the format. I don't think I'm going to play around them. Man, gosh. If we had hit one land here, we'd be so crazy good. This is also good with like the Putrid Goblin Persist and stuff. They have the Pashalik. Okay. Oh, where are my lands? Brutal. Um, I guess we attack with both here. If they double block the slug, we charm the slug into a 2-5 and order Pashalik first. So I will lose my slug here, but I think getting Pashalik Mons off the battlefield is correct. Man, we hit our third land there. I don't think we can lose. Also, I've already done four damage to myself with this uh, Waterlog Grove. Mob to kill my Smoke Shaper, sure. Holy crap. Five draw steps, no land. This is an easy block. They must have something here, but sure, that's fine. And an Orcish Hellraiser, all right. Yay, we finally got a land. Let's see. Um... Oh man, so brutal. We could like string the Hellraiser and the Ninja and hit for three. But we'd be very close to dead because of the Bogarden. I guess I'm just going to Mana War. Bounce the Hellraiser and attack for one and pass. Let's see if we can still win this. Because like I said, if we had hit our third land on curve, I don't think we could have lost given what we've seen from them. But there's a Defile to kill my Mana War. We are very close to dead here with the Hellraiser. They could have dealt us effectively six damage there, right? Hellraiser deals two damage to me or something when it dies. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So Putrid Goblin is in fact a zombie. Hmm. 
Our hope here is that they get aggressive and sacrifice a creature to the Dragonheart. Yeah. All right, so block, block. Oh, I'm okay with damage happening. Getting the dragon form off the battlefield is a good thing for us. I think I might cut the Grove in this matchup, because Red Black's generally pretty aggressive as well. Obviously having access to a land that I can sacrifice for a card later on is nice, but... Alright, I'll block. So I'm effectively at three, because at any point they can sack the Hellraiser. Uh-oh, I'm effectively at one. Okay. Damn, dude. Yeah, I need to sack the Grove and try to find an island. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man, that should have been a very easy win with the third land. Ay, 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 ay. This looks like a matchup that's not bad for us. They do have a couple pieces of removal, but overall, I think our creatures have a lot more value initially. So, let's run it back. Hope to find our third land on turn three, and if we can, we probably get them good. All right, on a game two after an unfortunate game one, we'll be on the play again. Ah! Well, I got my wish, I got all my lands, but this is not a keepable hand. I have to mulligan that down to six. There we go, so much better. I, I mean, as much as I want to pitch a land here, I'm going to pitch the charm. Because if I lose a land here and don't find a third land, we kind of just like instantly lose. But turn two slug, turn three moonblade shinobi is a really good start. The issue is that we did see that they had Defile. So if they go Swamp Pass here, it might actually be better for me not to even um, Ninjutsu. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like just passing here. I think they've got Defile in their hand. And now once they go for a creature this turn, perfect. Now we can Moonblade Shinobi. So I'm expecting the Shinobi to die due to a file here. I think it's pretty obvious that they had it, given their Swamp Swamp run out first. And if they don't, then they got me good. Oh, okay. Firebolt. I'm guessing they probably still have it to file. Firebolt flashbacks also annoying, and they had a Umazawa's charm. Yikes. Okay, we can take a turn off. We need to find some lands. Oh, they auto clicked. I don't want to discard here, so I'm going to main phase the string of disappearances. Four mana, draw five cards is a pretty good card. <laughs> We're drawing our lands, and we're crushing them. Makes sense. Okay. This 
So let's go for the Edict here, and then we're going to Ninjutsu Shinobi out from Mana War, and that's going to be insane. Hit him for 5, get an extra 1-1. One, one. Hey, there's the Defile. All right. Quakefoot Cyclops. That's probably not a great only play for them since Mana War is so good versus that. All right, so Mana War, bounce the Cyclops, hit him for two. Oh, did I miss? I missed some damage here, didn't I? Whoops. I missed one point of damage. Looks like they might be a little bit flooded out here. Well, I guess we have the same number of lands, don't we? They might have forgot that they have Firebolt in their graveyard, too. I'm going to main phase form. That's too many land, but we hit him for freaking nine. All right. Well, that game went a lot easier. Now, they did misclick. Kind of awkward and gave me all five cards with Factor Fiction. But we hit our lands... And uh, it seemed like that was a pretty easy win. Like I said, I think our creatures overall are better than theirs. So. Yeah, that's a keeper. Ooh, it doesn't have one of our two drops, but we do have Mana War to buy a little bit of time, and we have two ways to push in the Miss Syndicate Naga. So if we can find... A two drop next turn will be rolling. Hey, 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 the perfect sluggy boy. Nice. Slug was one of my favorite creatures in this format. Just look at him. Two mana, zero three, menace with evolve. No amount of salt will save you. Trust me, I have a lot of salt as a streamer. I don't really want to block here. The slug's too important. We saw Firebolt. We saw Defile. We saw um, Umazawas. All right, this is our chance. They can't block. And we get to start getting the Naga value. So obviously, if they have two different pieces of removal... They can clear my board, but if they don't, between String, Mana War, Phantasmal, and Choking Tethers, they are going to have a really bad day. Pashlik Mons is a good one. Okay. I like them getting aggressive. I'm guessing they don't actually have Defile, because I think they would have used it already. Maybe not, though. And even if they do have Defile, this is really devastating, because we are going to still get another one. They can kill one of the Miss Syndicates, but then the uh, other one will still make another copy. All right, they did. But this card's going to start popping off. Oh, notably, because they killed our real copy, um, we can unearth the original back, too. They're still attacking? I love it. Darn. Alright, let's go for the form. 
see if they have another defile. And they don't. So we win. All right. Easy game. And this is what I'm talking about. Even a mediocre ninja deck is still better than so many other decks in the format. 1-0. Oh. On to round number two we go here of this Modern Horizons draft. Um, we have a probably unkeepable hand on the draw here. Just doesn't really do anything. I do have a little bit of interaction with String, but this deck needs to get on the board a little bit faster. And yep, this is going to be a mulligan to five. Uh, I guess that is our best hand yet. Our best bet is just to pitch two lands here and hope, hope to find a two drop. Versus, ooh, a snow deck with a turn one astrolabe. Very nice. Well, that is a two drop. So swamp off the top here and there might be a chance, I guess. Damn, as the opponent has just one of the best curves you can have in this format. Um, I'm not going to choking tethers the rhyme tender on upkeep because I could cycle and tap it down, but I don't think that's right. We're probably going to need to get um, greedy since we're already on a mulligan to five. Fountain. Okay. They didn't have a land. Oh, I kind of got punished by not tapping down. That's pretty unfortunate. Okay. Mother Bear's good. Slug and pass, sadly. Oh, the opponent is playing a bunch of cards. 39, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They're playing a 46-card deck. Yowza. Maybe they just have so many snow permanents they don't care. Wow, double Astrolabe is great. Okay. We're okay with this, as long as they're not doing anything. <laughs> uh, drawing our cards in the wrong order. They had an exclude there! Love it. Counter target creature spell draw a card. So good. Oh, there's one of the spiders I was talking about. It's so, so good versus ninjas. And they have Soul Herder to go along with the spider. Okay. Well, so now Soul Herder becomes a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, they are popping off. Alright, good enough. Can't beat that. Ninjas have a hard time dealing with one spider as it is. And we had a pretty awkward draw there. Although, similar to the previous matchup, I think if we just have a normal draw, we're actually going to be okay. The biggest fear is that they go off with spiders again. But for the most part, if we can get a decent opener, I think we should be all right. And... Ugh. It's a keep, but it's not decent. I have none of my uh, ninjutsu cards in my hand, but we do have two two drops, although only one of them is currently playable. Man, with 40, oh, 46 cards or whatever in their deck, and they always have the turn one astrolabe, kind of hurts. Shinobi here, going to be one of the best draws we could have had. Oh, yes, come on. If they don't have removal here... That might just be game over now. Because now we can throw a smoke shroud on one of these two. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> uh, ninjas! Woo! All right. Game three. Oh, we need a two drop, but our hand is good if we can find one. And even if we don't, we have the smoke shroud to go on the Miss Syndicate, but... Come on, deck. Three for three on turn one Astrolabe. Even with that many cards. Impressive. Ah, they have their dream start again. Yeah, shoot. 
And we don't have the two drop. Although I guess with them being on the play with turn two rhyme tender, it might not have been likely that uh, we'd connect with the creature anyways. Okay. Can we hold here? Or do they have their exclude again? Wow. I mean, not much to say if they're going to draw kind of perfects. That's just good beats. Ooh, Druid's really good. Three mana, sack a land, get two more basics. They can go grab two snow lands here. Oh, they didn't even grab two snow lands. Wait, they sacked their snow land. Huh. All right, well, let's suit them up. It's okay if they kill the uh, syndicate, because if the smoke shroud goes to the graveyard, we still can get it back. So if they don't have a removal here, we look pretty good. I don't think I'm supposed to String of Disappearances my Naga if it uh, gets targeted by removal. Nope, not blocking ever. Okay, combat. Well, they have something. I don't remember what they can do to an attacker here. Wing shards type of effect? No, this is... Whoa, what is this? Oh, wing shards with freaking um, splicer skill. Gross. Okay, I see. So they get a 3-3 three, three and I have to sack my miss syndicate. So be it. All right, well, then we'll just hard cast out Shinobi. This is still really good. Mm, very possible I was supposed to use String of Disappearances there because now, right at this moment, if I cast String, they actually have two blue to copy it and bounce themselves oh speaking of oh that's gross dude string of disappearances and make another 3-3 three, three. okay here's what it is we are looking pretty bad here So now I'm actually going to have to play out my Smoke Shaper because it's going to turn into a 4-4 four, four and it can block any of their cards. Yeah, they've had a great draw with that Splicer skill. Very nice. I can gain 2 life with this? Okay. Ah, regrowth with the splicer skill, dude, and now they're gonna bounce. All right, GG's. Good draws, good draws. Damn, I think that's a match that we had a really good chance of winning if uh, our first game had gone better, but sometimes doesn't cooperate. We are now one and one. Let's go to the next. And on to the third and final round here of this Modern Horizon draft. Oh my lord, our hand is nuts. We are on the play with a turn two slug, which is very hard to block, and then a miss syndicate uh, naga in hand, so. This could go very well for us.
Hoping that they just tap out here for some garbage. Perfect. Oh, red blue snow is interesting. That is exactly the type of thing we wanted to see. And now we say good luck. Have fun. Turn two or turn three Miss Syndicate Naga hitting you. They milled Charm and Edict. It's kind of annoying. Winter's Rest. Okay, that locks down one of my tokens. Mills me for another two. Damn, milled two more spells. It's alright though. We go Mana War, Bounce, and keep the Pain Train rolling, friends. Collected Conjuring, they're playing it. Cast up to two instants and sorcery. Wait, is it just sorcery? Mana value three or less. Oh, they're on some mill deck. I remember a stream of thought being really, really cool. Target player mills four cards. You shuffle up to four cards from your graveyard in your library, and then it has replicate. There were some cool decks like that you could do, but this is going to be a really, really bad matchup for them. Um, looks like the charm might not be super necessary here. I think we actually want to bring in like a spell snuff. Just a counter type card. Because they're going to have some really important cards that they need to try to resolve. And if we can just time one good removal spell or one good counter, then it might be all over. I'm going to keep this hand on the draw. It's a little bit slow without a two drop currently, but their deck's not going to be extremely fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Found the Syndicate. Everdream, cycle a card. All right. Let's play out our 2-2 flyer here. And they have the Anira phage, okay. Alright, that card is gonna get fat, but hopefully with our Naga again we can uh, just beat them down fast enough here. Pyrophobia to deal with one of them. Double Pyrophobia, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, Mana War is such a sick draw versus the Anira Phage. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to Mana War. And then I'm going to return the Soul Syndicate Naga back. So they can't really afford to just tap out for their Anira Phage again, which is a huge tempo blow. That's fine. Mill two swamps, I like that. I don't think we need to quite use our choking tethers yet. Because we might even just hard cast the Choking Tethers to push everything in. Yeah, Anira Phage. And if they just go past here, we Choking Tethers, and I would not be surprised to see a pretty quick scoop. Hit him for 7, make another copy of the Syndicate, play out the Undead Augur. And now we can just attack with everything, no fear. Next couple of... Wow! Double Onirophage is actually really insane, too. Alright, let's just go to combat. They might have some way, instant speed ways to draw some cards and make the Onirophages larger, but... Uh... 
Um, we could pass priority here. I don't think that would be bad. But I suppose it's probably just right to get the ninjas online. All right, they are going to draw one card in response. So they do get to eat one of the Mist Syndicates and keep their Anirophage. But uh, the other one does die, and we hit him for six, plus make a bunch of 1-1 one, one flyers. So still seems like it was a very good trade for us. Throws of Chaos, a fun card. Oh, they hit a removal spell, too. Yeah, four mana Cascade Sorcery with Retrace, so... You just randomly get to hit some cards. They get to mill me a couple of cards again as well, because it's a snow permanent. Damn, there goes our counter. That's too bad. Tap. Sack. And that's probably game over. It's lethal if they have nothing. All right. Well, every time I play ninjas, I ended up or I end up with a what I seem or what I think is like a mediocre deck. But like I said, mediocre ninja decks are just mainly better than everything else in the format. I mean, uh, I think in the second round we just had some unfortunate draws, right? And our our opponent had like in both games one and three in round two, our opponents had the uh, like perfect snow draw in their forty six card deck. So. Good stuff. A little more ninjas here in Modern Horizons. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you back next week for some more drafting. Bye-bye.